Number five, Fermat Haunted Swing. Located in a children's playground in Santa Fe in Argentina, this swing doesn't stop swinging. The swing set contains three swings. The right and left one stay still, whilst the middle one swings on its own. The swing has been swinging on its own since 2007. In 2007, local residents reported it to the police after they noticed that the swing had been swinging on its own non-stop for 10 days. The police investigated the swing, but couldn't come to an explanation for it. So they got a physics professor to inspect it, but even the scientists were baffled and they couldn't come up with a logical explanation for the swing. If the swing is stopped manually, it will start to swing again on its own seconds after it is released. A local legend is that the swing is controlled by the spirit of a young boy who died in a construction site close to the playground when it was being built. Parents and children believe that a ghost is controlling the swing. Teachers were interviewed at a school close to the playground to get their take on the swing, and one teacher said that a child called it the Blair Witch Playground. Parents and teachers decided that the playground must be haunted. In 2011, the Sci-Fi Channel's show, Fact or Fake Paranormal Files, went to Fermat to investigate the swing. They ran several tests and determined that it was not a hoax. They were also able to recreate the movement of the swing by placing a fan in front of it. They believe that the wind in a certain current is what is causing the swing to move on its own, but as it is just their theory, it is still unexplainable to why the swing moves on its own. So could it be the wind, or could it actually be haunted by the little boy's spirit? Let me know what you think, or if you have any other ideas on why the swing moves by itself, let me know in the comments. Number 4. Hesdalen Light This is an unexplained light which is seen in the Hesdalen Valley in Norway. The light appears as a bright white or yellow light of unknown origin, which are standing or floating above ground level. The light appears for an hour. Several other unexplained lights have been reported in Hesdalen Valley. Since the 1940s, unusual lights have been reported in the Hesdalen Valley area. The light appearances reached a high level of activity from December 1981 to the summer of 1984, when light sightings were occurring 15 to 20 times a week. Several tourists camp at Hesdalen Valley to see the lights, although now the lights only appear 10 to 20 times per year. Since 1983, there has been an ongoing scientific research nicknamed as Project Hesdalen, which is conducted by UFO Sweden, who are a Swedish organization who investigate UFO sightings. They're trying to figure out what is causing the light. In 1998, an observation station was built in the valley. It registers and records the appearances of the lights. There have been theories from scientists on what are causing the lights. They vary from clouds of dust to crystals covered in plasma. Number three, San Antonio Ghost Tracks. This railroad crossing is located in San Antonio, Texas, and it is known for the strange phenomenon that happens if a person stops on the tracks or near the tracks. If a person parks near the tracks, the car starts to get pushed uphill and over the tracks by an unknown force. The story about the tracks is where it starts to get scary. The story is that a school bus filled with children got stuck on the tracks and a train hit the bus and it killed all the children and the driver. So now people believe that the ghost of the children are pushing the car over the train tracks to prevent it happening again. There are videos on the internet of people parking there to see if it actually happens and it does. People that have done it have also reported that their car was shaking and people have also reported hearing faint children's voices and whispers, but it gets even creepier. People have reported that after sprinkling baby powder on their bumpers, there was visible children handprints all over it. Some people claim that the position of the tracks is an optical illusion and the car is actually rolling downhill. Number two, the Belmez faces. This is by far probably the strangest on this list. This phenomenon started in 1971 in a house in Spain. Residents claim that images of faces appeared on the floor of the house and would disappear and reappear. The story goes that the owner of the house, Maria Gomez, told her husband that a face had appeared on the floor in their kitchen and her husband destroyed it with a pickaxe immediately, but the face reappeared shortly after. Word soon spread and the mayor reached out to them and cut the face out of the floor and sent it off for testing. The face then shortly reappeared. This continued for 30 years the face kept disappearing and reappearing. The faces that formed were both male and female and also had different expressions. Other paranormal activity started happening and it was found out that the house was built on a graveyard and bodies were found under the house. 
The graveyard is believed to be linked to the faces. The floor has been replaced several times, but the faces continue to reappear. People believe that the faces are a hoax and were created using an oxidizing agent. Number one, the hum. This sound has been heard all across the world. It's been reported all over the world from the United States to the UK and also Australia. There have been famous cases of it, such as the Teos hum and the Bristol hum. It has been described as a low pitched hum or buzz. Some say they can feel the vibration of the hum go through their body. The hum has been linked to three suicides in the UK. An investigation into the Teos hum showed that only 2% of the local population of Teos, New Mexico could hear it. The hum has not yet been identified, but is believed to be caused by machinery, pulsed microwaves, electromagnetic waves caused by meteors, or submarine communication systems. Theorists believe that it is being used as a government mind control system, and others believe that it is coming from underground UFO bases. This is what the hum sounds like. Let me know if you've ever heard it before in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and also let me know which one you thought was the strangest in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to keep updated with our latest videos. Goodbye.